air signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see um, what, does it, what does your person want to share with you. Okay, so what's going on with them? What are they feeling? What are they thinking right now? What is it that they may be holding back from you? And what is it that they want to open up to you about? Um, it is a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, so what's going on with your person? Uh, emotionally, a lot. Okay, emotionally, internally, there's a lot that's going on with them. The thing is, they're not telling you everything. Okay, so um, I feel like your person is going through some things emotionally. I feel like your person uh, may be reeling. They may be, uh, I feel like they're trying to process and manage a lot of emotions. I don't think they're do doing too well though. Okay, five of wands, there's a lot that is going on with them. It feels like they're at war with their head and their heart. They could be going through some sort of, I am picking up a depressive state. So your person could be um, feeling a little bit, you know, um, down in the dumps, feeling very blue, um, feeling quite depressed. They may have a hard time getting out of bed. They just may have a hard time... Um, facing reality, it just feels like they're not in a good place. And I do feel like a lot of this has to do with you. It's not to say that you put them there, but I feel like, you know, the Three of Swords, this is emotional anguish. This is um, heartbreak. It's heartache. It's, you know, a breakup. So I feel like you and your person may have, uh, you know, you may have broken up, okay? You may have disconnected. You may be at some sort of dis. Cord, um, either a disconnection or you know the flow of this connection has suddenly been disrupted and that's put them in um, you know they went from a happy place being with you to you know perhaps the happiest of places to this place where all of a sudden everything you know their world has been thrown into chaos everything is a mess suddenly things don't seem to make a whole lot of sense without you suddenly things just don't seem right with you know without you so this person is going through some things I feel like there's also a bit of um I'm getting a sense of like pride and ego. I feel like your person is not, it's almost like they don't want you to see them not doing, you know, so well without you. Okay. It's almost like, I don't know if they're trying to prove a point. I don't know if they're being a little bit arrogant or perhaps even a bit childlike or immature, but I do get the sense that this person is just, you know, they're not opening up to you. Not, not always. Okay. There are times that I feel like this person is really holding back because maybe they don't want to come across. Maybe they don't want to seem weak or juvenile. Or I don't know what it is, but I do think it has something to do with the pride. You know, uh, maybe their ego is a little bit bruised and they don't want to see, they don't want you to see them like that. Um, but it does feel like whatever it is that's going on, okay, between you and your person, if you are in some sort of you know, if you're involved in some sort of conflict with each other, if you guys are fighting or if you're disagreeing, if you're just like not communicating or if you, the two of you have gone separate ways, it feels like your person wants to work towards positive direction. OK, six of swords, it feels like your person wants to move on from whatever it is that's going on. OK, and it does feel like your person wants to move forward. But it's hard to do because to me, it feels like either they're stuck on something or you're stuck on something or perhaps the both of you are stuck on what went wrong and what didn't work, you know, and perhaps what should have worked, but didn't work sort of thing. Um, and that's making it really, an, or maybe the pain as well that this breakup has caused, maybe the way in which you guys separated and went, you know, separate ways was very uncomfortable and was very painful and um, maybe very sudden and abrupt. It just feels like your person is, you know, and I think there's also been some emotional triggers as well. I think maybe, you know, if you pulled away from this person, I think it sort of, really you know it's sort of surfaced in them a lot uh, maybe perhaps emotional issues that your person you know is, is struggling to deal with like for instance abandonment issues or rejection okay so i think it's you know not only are they dealing with the loss of this relationship or you know losing you and not having you by their side but i think this person is also dealing with some of the issues that have since surfaced around this breakup around this disconnection and right now it just feels like they're trying to fight their feelings um 
rather than try to process them, I feel like they're internalizing them a little bit, which, by the way, is making things worse, okay? So if you do communicate, often they may seem very short or very snappy, or they may even, you know, overcompensate by saying, oh, they're doing great, they're doing wonderful, you know, really, like, stretch the... It's not even the truth. It's not even stretching the truth, but it's overcompensating. It's, it's trying to make you think that, you know, it's trying to make you think and feel like they're doing fine without you when reality tells a very different story so um, they might go to extreme lengths to sort of exaggerate um, that there is something that I feel like this person wants to open up and share with you but I think they're holding on to this okay and it could have something to do you know with all of these the, the concoction of emotions that your person is feeling okay there's a lot going on with this person and it just feels like maybe if they were to open up to you they would seem weak okay um it feels like this is someone who cries over you a lot it does to me i do get a sense that this is someone who is unhappy that you're not by their side they're unhappy that the two of you aren't together they're unhappy the, the way they acted and the role they played in this situation okay um it just feels like they're yeah they're not in a good place um they could also be going through some personal things and you were such a huge emotional support system to them and not having you there is really really difficult for the person it just feels like they're really struggling um i don't think this person is very good at opening up and talking about their feelings you know not a lot of people are and it just feels like this person may be holding on to their emotions it does feel like it's almost like this you know they desperately and urgently want to share some with something with you here but it does hold them back i just want to confirm what it is with the knight of swords energy i feel like your person is also okay so it feels like your person is trying to get close to you okay if this is a long distance relationship your person and if you live very far away from each other your person is really feeling that distance okay not only like geographically and not only physically but emotionally they feel like they want you near they want you there like they just want to hold you they just want you know they just want you there with them they want to look at you hold you like be with you it just feels like there's this yearning and longing okay um they could also have plans sometime later in the year perhaps they could have plans to come and see you to travel okay um you might also expect expect some contact or communication from this individual but i just want to warn you that i do i feel like they're a little bit snappy they're a little bit edgy not not at you um, so don't personalize it, but it just feels like they're a little tense. To me, the energies feel like, you know, they're a little bit tense because there's a lot going on with them, okay? There's a lot that this person is going through and you'll, like, you'll see that, like, kind of, you know, frenzied energy manifest in the conversation, but I do see them reaching out to you, okay? And I see it happening soon as well. So it could be in a matter of two hours from this reading. It could be in a matter of two days from this reading. Um, could even be two weeks because that's space. It's not that long, but, um... It might not take that long for some of you, but I do feel like this person um, is trying to reach you. It'll happen by a digital communication, so either a text, I feel like it's a text, um, SMS, uh, or a DM here. I'm also seeing that your person is trying to work on themselves. I uh, to It's kind of like to improve, impress you or to improve on themselves for you, okay? The hangman as well, I feel like your person is, you know, is still stuck on you. If there has been someone else that they've been seeing, let me tell you, it has been a rebound relationship. A lot of the times, you know, breakups do tend to, um, you know, breakups and the pain that comes with the breakup and the loss and the separation, it tends to motivate a lot of people to enter into a new relationship very quickly and very early on. And, um, you know, it, a lot of it, I feel like, is, especially with your person, a lot of it was to prove that, you know, they can be loved, okay? Because remember how we spoke about at the beginning of the reading, them feeling rejected or abandoned? So a lot of it was to prove to not only you, but, you know, to themselves that they can be loved and they're needed and, you know, um, they're not feeling rejected here. Okay, but either way, I feel like this rebound relationship that I see your person has had, um, it feels like they ended this relationship Um See, it's made things worse for them because they were, um, they're feeling quite vulnerable here. And I think they really undermined their ability or undermined the, you know, the genuine 
the very genuine and the very authentic relationship and connection that they shared with you. And then they went through this stage where they tried to, you know, draw comparisons between you and this, you know, individual that they rebounded with. And, you know, they just found out the hard way that there's just simply was no comparing, you know, apples and oranges, just was no comparison. But I think they just exposed themselves to more pain and more vulnerability. Um, okay, just going back to, I feel like this person is drop, dropping three truth bombs here, guys. I feel like it could be you though, okay? It could be you, you're the one who, you know, during this conversation. No, I think it might be more them, but it could be you. It, it, it depends, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the fact that it's them. They could potentially be dropping some, you know, um, truth bombs. And I think they're motivated by pain, okay? So whatever it is that they're saying, they're motivated by pain. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have, it is something that's going to take you aback. It doesn't have to be, it's not going to be anything nasty, I don't think. If it is a little nasty, I do think it's because they're motivated by pain, you know, by, you know, the sense of rejection, by the pain of not having you, you know, by the pain of missing you. But I do see them coming in with some sort of truths, some truth bombs that they're going to be drop, dropping, three in particular. So, for instance, one of them could be that, you know, your person is still very much in love with you, and that's just the truth of it, okay? Um, they could tell you that they've rebounded with maybe three different people, or they could tell you that they rebounded with someone else, but they've ended that relationship with the person, and, you know, um, they'll also go on to tell you how there was just no comparison. That person just could not compare because you sent the benchmark so high. So those are just examples of some of the truth bombs that, you know, they could share. But it does feel like a person is stuck on you. Um, you know, if you're wondering whether they've moved on or not, the answer is no. They have not moved on from you. They have not moved on from those, from, you know, the relationship and those feelings that they have for you. So just because things might have ended between the two of you, it does not at all mean that those feelings are had for you, you know, they did not dissolve. So they're still there. And I think this person is just... Um, I feel like they're, they're de trying to deal with it. I feel like they're also trying to fight with it because it's almost like they love you, but... It's not that they don't want to love you, it's that they want to stop themselves loving you because it's hurting too much, you know, being away from you is hurting too much, but at the same time, there's no on and off switch, right? You don't just flick the switch and you stop, you know, loving someone, so that, that's what they're having a hard time dealing with because they feel like, you know, I don't know, things are very, there's a bit of a challenge there, there's a bit of a struggle, and I feel like your person is really struggling to, you know, to deal with these emotions or to deal with the situation they're in. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing or subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.